Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Enrique Eddy and for today's video, we're going to be talking about the comfort zone, okay? We're going to be talking about the comfort zone and why it's something very bad that you must avoid. Firstly, it's important that we understand what is the comfort zone, okay? So, the comfort zone is either an environment or a mood and it's usually a combination of both. So, an environment can be a place like your bedroom, okay, your living room, a place where you feel relaxed, where you don't feel pushed, okay? You can just chill there, okay? You're not doing anything productive, right? And as for you, it's your mood, okay? The mood of saying, you know what? I'm going to sleep in a little bit. You know what? I'm just going to lay in my bed or I'm going to work in my bed, okay? I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to wear sweatpants, okay? Because the thing with being in your comfort zone is that as much as it is your environment, it's your mood and how you act. Even with the clothes that you wear, I mean, you can think about it, right? Wearing sweatpants, wearing hoodies, that's good, right? And on occasion, it's good. But if that's the thing that you're always wearing all the time, it's something sluggish, okay? It's not clothing that's meant to push you, okay? It's not clothing that's meant to be uncomfortable, okay? Like jeans or chinos. So like I said, the comfort zone is a very bad place to be in. And it's usually a combination of two things. Your environment and the mood that you're in, okay? Now, why is the comfort zone something so bad, okay? It's a very bad place to be in if you're trying to progress or if you're trying to make something happen. Because you know what? You're not going to be able to make it happen, okay? Supposing the first scenario, you wake up, okay? You wake up early, right? You wake up on time, but the bed is too comfortable, you know? You're too nice, you don't want to get up. What do you do? You hit snooze. Five minutes, hit snooze. Five more minutes, hit snooze. You have already failed on your first task of the day, which is to get up on time. But let's say you don't fail, okay? Let's say you do get up on time. What do you choose to do after that? You get up, you shower, whatever. I'm going to work for my bed. Or I'm going to have breakfast in bed. That is a terrible mindset to have, okay? Because those are tasks that should not be done in your bed. Your bed is a place where you go to relax. So your place is where you go to rest, okay? Where your body recovers, okay, from all the work that you did in the day. It's not a place where you're supposed to work, where you're supposed to put in the effort to achieve something, okay? Because the thing is, being in the comfort zone won't achieve anything. But when you get out of your comfort zone, that's where you're gonna achieve things, okay? I'm gonna give you some examples, think, okay? Whenever you're working out, alright, and you're lifting the weights, okay? I, I love it, alright? Pretty much most people enjoy lifting weights, okay? But to a certain degree, it is painful, you know? It is uncomfortable. And you know why that is? Because that discomfort, you putting yourself out of that comfort zone to go to a gym or work out from home, putting in that effort, right? Straining your body, right? That discomfort is what's going to lead you to results, okay? The pain that you're feeling that day is the strength that you're going to feel tomorrow. It's how, you look, how you're going to look tomorrow. The strength of being able to lift more. The looks of being able to look better, okay? Think about flexibility, right, okay? Why is it sometimes so painful, you know, when you're stretching your hamstrings, okay? When you're turning around on this and that. It's because your body is adapting, okay? You're training your body so that you can eventually be more flexible, okay? So that your kicks can be more flexible, okay? So that you don't injure yourself that easily. Anything that you do that's outside of your comfort zone is what's going to lead you to grow. It's what's going to lead you to improve, lead you to go above your level that you're currently at right now. But when you embrace your comfort zone, when you embrace being on the couch, right, eating chips, okay, or being in your bed, working from your bed, well, guess what? You're not really achieving anything. There is a saying that goes somewhere along these lines. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. If you can do that, I guarantee you, I, I guarantee you 100% that you're going to achieve success in what you want to do in life, okay? Because the truth is, a lot of people have goals. A lot of people have things they want to accomplish. They want to look a certain way. They want to have certain assets, right, certain things. But you know why they will never achieve them in their life? Because they're not willing to put in the work. They're too comfortable sitting back, okay? Oh, you know, I'm good from here. You got two choices in life, just two, okay? No more. Two choices of discomfort. The discomfort of sitting back while you're relaxing, but seeing what you want and seeing, I want that money, I want that body. Or the discomfort of not sitting back and you going in and putting in the work putting in the work to attain those things because nothing will ever be given to in your life. You got to go out there and get it. And the way you do that is you get out of your comfort zone, okay? Why do you think cold showers make you a stronger person? Not just physically, but mentally. There's something so mental. You're putting yourself out of your comfort zone. How easy would it just be to turn it, you know, a little bit hot? But you have that mental power and you have that desire, that hunger to toughen yourself up to get all the benefits that you're going to get from cold showers. And you know what? You say, you know what? No, fuck that. You make them cold, okay? Why do you think, why do you think all these things are so hard to do? Why do you think so many people do them? It's because it requires mental strength, it's gonna require physical strength, and it really requires hunger, okay? 
Hunger for you to succeed. Hunger for you to change. The choice is yours. Are you going to keep on living in that discomfort of being comfortable but not achieving what you want? Or are you going to change? Are you going to change and are you going to put yourself in the other kind of discomfort which is going to get you what you want? A lot of times we set excuses, okay? We say, oh, you know, but I'm running late. Oh, you know, but no, this and that, no. If you really want to achieve something, if you really want to do it, you're going to make sure that you put in the time. You're going to make sure that you reserve the time. Everybody has 24 hours in the day. Everybody. Me here recording this video, you there watching the video, who you admire, they all have 24 hours in a day. What makes the difference of the outcome is how they spend them. And I guarantee you that if you just spend your hours, if you waste your hours in the comfort zone, you're not going to be anywhere. I'm telling you this from experience. I spent the past year of my life, I still do things like self-improvement, cold showers and that, but I spent it in my comfort zone. I didn't get any bigger, I didn't get any stronger, I barely improved with the martial arts training that I do. Barely. So I'm telling you. The choice is yours. You're either gonna invest in yourself, put yourself out of your comfort zone, and gain something, and build something, or you're gonna do the opposite. You got one choice, make the right one. So that's it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you learned something new. Take all this into mind. And now what I want you to do is this. A task that you either have to do that you haven't done, like let's say a chore, right? Or something that you've wanted to do for a while, but you keep pushing back, I want you to go and do it right now. If you really want to change your body, you got to go dedicate yourself to it, okay? Your diet, your sleep, your training, okay? Fuel yourself. Go chase success. Tell yourself that every day. You're not going to waste today. You're going to make the most out of your day, and you're going to chase success. You want to be in your comfort zone? Fine. Just be willing to pay the price of not being where you want to be in a year, in a week, in five years. But if not, get your ass out of there, put yourself in the discomfort zone, and go achieve something. With that said, I'll see you next time.